Eight years on, Spiral travelled back to Lewis as guest of the Pigs team for a return investigation of the historic Anne of Cleves House. Built in the 15th century, this timber frame Wilden Hall House houses a wide ranging collection of Sussex historical interest, including an ironwork gallery and pottery. Although doubtful she even saw the property that bears her name, the house was given to Anne of Cleves in 1541 as part of the divorce settlement from King Henry VIII, although the name of the house Anne of Cleves is actually a modern title given in 1910 and the building originally called the Porched House. The house was owned by the Verrill family for 150 years and remained in the family until 1923 when it was sold to the Sussex Archaeological Society. On our last visit we discovered that team member Mandy's stepfather Andrew Verrill is a descendant of this prominent family who own much in this area. From what I know, uh, the name Richard is really, really important. That's the one thing that my mum's husband, Andy, said to me about. Um, and I know that there was a Richard Verrill who had his throat cut and was murdered and found down by the river. I know that he was a very prominent figure in the local community and that actually the Verrill family were for the whole of Lewis. Once again, we join our friends, the Pigs, the Paranormal Intelligence Gathering Service, to see if any of this Tudor building's paranormal claims can be experienced by us tonight. Very compelling. <laughs> so a great look. How many times have you been here, Tim? Me? I've been yeah. here once before. Mm -hmm. Same as us then. Well, well what, recce, three times really. We came here for a recce okay. about a couple of days before we did the investigation and came here on Saturday night. Then we came here a week later and did a just a day's trip, didn't we? With your little and so. And Richard, who's I say I've known Richard many, 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 mm -hmm. many since we were children. And we still he, talk to each other. Yes, and we still talk to each other. <laughs> now you Richard like I call Richard Richard's Mr. Logical and he's never been on a ghost hunt before, have you? Oh, that's very true. Uh, even as me, Mr. Skeptic, I'll be interested to see how you feel about the evening goes. You yeah, know, me too. So, so, uh, welcome, I'm really pleased you're here actually. Thanks Thank you very much. And here we are with the pigs again, uh, one of the best paranormal teams. Um, was it 20 quid I asked you to I was going to say, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thanks, thanks so much. I've already got one fiver left. <laughs> we love working with Tim and his team. Uh, lovely to see Ben and Audrey again. So we're looking forward to the evening. It should be another great episode. <laughs> okay, we're doing the first vigil in the kitchen. Um, with this team, with the pigs team and the spiral team. Okay, we're going to black now. We've got a couple of bits of kit laid out for the table. There's a REM pod in here. The idea with the REM pod is that if anything, it's got a, <coughs> it casts a, a, a field around itself, and if anything interacts with that field, then it will alarm off with a sound and a light. Mark, what did you want to do? on your episode? Uh, I'm just going with, with the flow really. Uh, just a little okay. bit of call out, see what Mandy picks up on. Right. Uh, obviously Mandy knows a lot of the history from this place. Um, so I'm, I'm open to suggestions really. Okay. I don't want to say nothing because it isn't nothing. But I can't put my finger on what it is. So I feel like somebody is watching quietly. All right. But I don't know who. I'll ask you to, to bring your left hand up with your palm facing upwards and your right hand with your palm facing downwards. I'm just uh, <laughs> watching what's going on here. I'm keeping outside the right. circle. We'd like to come and talk to you, try and communicate with you if we can. We know it must be a bit strange having all these people suddenly here, but we're all here to try and talk with you or understand you. Mm 
if we come a bit closer, it will happen. So this is child, yeah? And I wouldn't be surprised if people have not heard the little boy crying on the moment. We're just your friends here. We've been here before. Tim and his team have been here before. We've been here before. I'm very much like coming in this environment. To figure in the kitchen. Right. Like, this is my kitchen, but in a nice way, I'm proud of you. How old would you say she is? What do you think? I think maybe 50s-ish. Like, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, maybe early 60s. Any idea of what sort of clothes she's wearing? I would say, like, a, some sort of black gown, possibly with a white overlay. With the, yeah, with the apron. The legend yeah. is that a king was murdered by some knights with swords, and they laid their swords on this That's table. That's right. And the table shook. And the swords, or table, apparently it depends which version of the story, the table allegedly threw the swords off, or the table shook and the swords fell off. Moving on, we head upstairs to the Lewis room. This was here actually seven years ago when Mandy didn't realise a reflection in the mirror was actually her. Oh, I don't remember, remember that, yeah, no. In the extra footage, yeah. <laughs> And oh Trinity's God, here, um, <laughs> so we've done many investigations at Michelin Priory and back out there in Fort Widley. Yep. And it's really nice to see her. We it's did nice that. to meet you, I've heard so much. Yeah. We did did the I US... not meet you at the, um, motor, was it a motorbike museum? Oh yes, of course, at Whitworth Museum of Transport. I didn't Enfield. go. Oh, no. Actually, well, it was dark, so I can't <laughs> <laughs> was there. We did, uh, did a road trip, we just went I around missed in America, didn't we? Oh, Someone over there? No. Mm -hmm. Anyone hear any footsteps just now? Yeah, I did. I heard something. I think it's from us moving around. Can you join us at the table with your hand on the bar check with us? You're very much behind on this investigation. Some observing. Doing a lot of observing. Come towards yes. Is there anyone here? You want to speak to us? So we're down in the foundry. When we were last here, our psychic reading realised that the roof wasn't actually here and it went right up to the ceiling. So they're doing some automatic handwriting out there. So we're down here with Richard and Trinity. In all sincerity, that if someone left a thousand pounds here and yeah. told me to come here by myself to pick it up, I wouldn't. That's quite wow. Okay, thank you for that. That extreme. Yeah, seriously, and I'm skint, so. <laughs> so one of us brave I men. I happy. really don't okay. feel happy. I'd be happy to call back at five hundred each. <laughs> 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 it's saying the opposite. They said they feel uncomfortable down that one. Oh, that's strange. <laughs> okay. Don't You're okay. Me. I think um, for me, I think it's probably just associations of other things. I think because mm -hmm. it's a dead end and because the fireplaces kind of look a bit like tombstones. And you can't see Good point. the partitions, mm. can you? So yeah, I don't like the maybe to put in like that, I think. Good, yeah, that's a good point. I think how we're feeling in here and why that little boy is so sad in the kitchen. Did you hear that, Tim? Uh, I heard about the little boy. Oops. Mandy wondered if there's a link between the, the upset boy in the kitchen and here, and, and the oppressive here. atmosphere here, because they're quite close together, aren't they? Come on, come through, please. We're all your friends, we don't mean you any harm, you don't mean us any harm. We just want to talk to you as people. Is there a little boy down here that Mandy picked up earlier? Spirit, I swear to ask you again. If that was you, could you make the rod spin, please? Oh, sorry, that was me. Make the rod spin, please. Thank you very much. Is that you? Can make it spin, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you very much. Can you make it spin the other way, please? Sorry to ask you. Can you make it spin the other way? Thank you so much. Are you all getting this? I can't no, see. I can't see the rod. Because it's too dark. But the camera can see it. Mm. Thank you very much. Can I ask you to make the rod stop, please? 
Thank you so much. And could you spin it the other way just for confirmation? To the, can you go spin to the right, please? Thank you so much. That's fantastic. Okay. That's brilliant. If we, we can't turn the lights off, I'll do this again with you and try and do it in the, with a the light. And the, yeah, the, the camera should have got it. Yeah, it's got it. Thank you. Do you want to stop the stop the rods, please? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We can. Okay, do a bit more experiments with the rods and uh, mine is getting it's spinning around. Oh, and she's, she's going too. She's not a dowser. Okay. Okay, we've had a break. We're now in the long gallery. We can do another experiment with Tim and the team and the spiral lot. It is uh, a device called an EDI <coughs> and it displays a temperature in the middle of it and it also displays any vibrations that it picks up. What you're going to hear as it scans through radio frequencies, you're going to hear radio stations, um, snippets of DJs and music perhaps as well, which is fine because they're in that frequency band anyway, <coughs> but what we're looking for is something a bit more definite than, than those. So it could be male sounding or female sounding, we don't know until we try. But we'll start off by um, asking for something specific like a hello. Okay, if anyone can hear us, let's know you're here by saying hello. Can you see us here? Okay, next question. Are you happy? Are you here with the room with us? Can you give a definite yes? <laughs> Can you tell us your name? Can you name one of the pictures that's on this box? I asked a question earlier on. Can you answer me? Is that you, please? Can you say yes or no? It's both. Wow, okay. Thank you. Could you confirm that? Is that you there? Can you say yes, please, if that was you? Yeah, no, it's just um, not active, not sort of replaying this, but you know when you can walk into a place and you can picture mm -hmm. what would have happened in there, and I can see a tall girl, teenage-ish, with long arms and long legs and long hair. That's it. So just a residual memory or... Yeah, yeah. no, it's not, nothing. Okay. People, circle of friends, sitting at a table, like to, to come and join us. Try some old-fashioned calling out. Table. Some interesting EVPs were captured and later analysed by Tim Brown of the Pigs. Please come forward, friend, or friends. Circle of friends sitting at a table. I'd like to, to come and join us.
As the evening progressed, I was interested to see how everyone was feeling about the investigation so far. I know it. It's quiet. But I like it anyway. I think Anna Cleves is an amazing location. It's got so much history attached to it and, and it's relatively untouched when you look at the actual construction, the structure of the house, etc. But spiritually, it doesn't seem as much going on this evening. Uh, I know that as a team, we're not we're not particularly having a big experience with stuff. But what's so often the case is that we will go through the motions, we will do the experiment, and every team, everyone in this team is doing those things, regardless of the result we're getting right now, because later on we have the opportunity to go back minutely through every single thing, and we can see if we can find anything in the data. So even though we're not experiencing anything right now, it's not to say that it's not there, and we'll have a look for it. Yeah, it's a beautiful location, and um, but yeah, it's just been quite quiet. The dowsing rods was interesting, though. It's the most enjoyable bit so far. Great location, lovely house. Great to have an opportunity to be in here after hours. Um, I've not experienced anything uh, from a paranormal point of view. Uh, yeah, but still enjoying the experience. I think probably the most interesting room for me was probably the kitchen where both me and Mandy picked up on the older woman um, who was possibly a housekeeper. Um, but other than that, it's been quite quiet. But it's been an interesting location. Yeah, it's quite quiet. But I've, I love, we love these, the history of these places and being able to come in here. You've had one sort of strange experience downstairs, maybe? Yeah, just with a dozen white yeah. rods. And that's the only strange experience we've had so far. It's good to be back at Anna Cleve's house. We were here in 2010. Um, interesting because it's one of Mandy's um, stepdad's ancestral home. So it has a little bit of more resonance to us. It's been quite a flat evening, maybe other people sound too sceptical about things, um, which is not the case at all. I just opened to more inquiry. Um, it's great working with the pigs team again, with Tim uh, and Joe. Great team, we've got some guests here today, which hopefully will join us on more investigations in the future. Um, we'll do one more vigil now and see how the night concludes. Last vigil of the night, we're going out to the Tudor bedroom, which is great. The, I'll send you the video, you probably think it's one of the extra videos of you all dressing up. Right, well, what's happening in here is that the head unit is detecting Joe, that's the infrared view of it. The software is mapping out, it believes there is a, a player, a human. It's got Joe's arms and her head, but it hasn't picked up her body or her legs. Joe, go back a little bit. Someone be in the location with this and they'd ask for a spirit or whoever whatever entity there may well be around to come and join them, be next to them, stand stand with them if you like. And what we would see, hopefully, would be the addition of another mapped, we call them the skeleton, another mapped dot sort of dot to dot figure. Yes, we should be good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Good, it might be a bit flat. Oh, it's really I love it. Yeah, I absolutely love it. It's alright. Yeah. The evening came to a close, and apart from the dowsing rods activity, it was generally a quiet night at this historic property. Anne of Cleves House was still a fascinating location to explore, and if you are ever in Lewis, why not take in a visit? You never know what might be walking around with you.